Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ridge Life, guys, the bees need some help. Is the swarm we caught at the fire station still there? Are the other colonies there and making honey? Let's go find out. <laughs> Ah, just got stung. Just got stung right through the glove. Ah. Before we get into them though, we got to get all the weeds up around them that are blocking the entrances and uh, makes it just a little harder for me to get around. I don't want to trip and fall with my knee surgery. And the bees have that torturous path. We need to clear that up so they can bring that pollen and uh, nectar in. So let's go ahead and get our trusty. <laughs> Let's get cleaned up. Y'all thought I was gonna do that without a bee suit on, didn't you? I may be dumb, but I ain't that dumb. Come on. We got it all cleaned up about, i say 10, 12 feet out in front of each one. Got all behind them. And uh, bees are a little bit agitated, I should say. You're like, Tim, why'd you do that beforehand? Hey, got to make quality content for you, don't I? <laughs> this could get interesting. Let's start off with our swarm catch. Again, we have not named this, guys. Uh, Fire station bees, firehouse bees, postal bees, fireball bees, all great names. And uh, that came from you guys. I'm going to leave it up to the members of Ridge Life. I'm going to put a poll out and then on a live stream, I'm going to tell you who won. And then we're going to do some honey giveaway. That's if we got some honey in the bees over here, okay? Uh, we're going to get some honey sometime this summer. Do we have some now? We'll find out here in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and get inside our beautiful swarm catch here. See if they're still here. 
What do we see? Oh yeah, let's see. I see bees. Look at there, guys. Oh my goodness. It looks packed full of bees. It looks really, really full of bees. Now let's go ahead and get this inner cover popped off here. Got to loosen this up slowly, slowly. Don't want to do too much activity on them. Okay, let's pull them up. See what's inside the box. They are rocking it, guys. They are rocking it. I see tons, tons of new, new honeycomb. Y'all see this white stuff right here? That white stuff is all new honeycomb. It's all through here. Okay, so what we're going to do is another eight frame box right on top. Now, what I'll probably do is take a few of the frames from down here, move them to the top, and usually you're all, you want all of your eggs, all your baby bees right in the middle. Honey frames are on the outside, pollen frames. We'll do the same thing. So I'll take a couple of these, but guys, let's open up. Let's get a few of these out of here just so you can see what is going on. I am super excited. Got to be very careful. Who knows? where the queen is on these frames, okay? Let's get one out and I'll show you what is going on with the bees. This is an outside frame, pull it out slowly. And all of that is brand new wax. See that plastic, the black plastic mm -hmm. behind it? That is um, a black plastic uh, foundation and they build those honeycomb squares all the way out. They put all of this wax on there. That's all fresh wax as well. Let me set this off to the side. I wanna see how this queen is doing. You remember last time we were in here, we did see a brood or baby eggs, covered up cells with baby eggs growing in it. Is she doing as well as I hope she is? Let's find out. Okay, outside should be honey. Uh, the inside middle one should be the eggs. And uh, we'll see what we see when we go out a little bit further. Again, I'm not smoking them, I'm not really gonna do much. I just wanna see that the queen is still here and then that, that'll let me know if I need to move, move that next box up. So let's get inside, see a little closer. Pulling this up gently, there we go. Oh my gosh, guys, that is all baby bees. All the way out to the edge and I see the same thing down there on the next frame over. That tells me we definitely 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 need to add another box because she has been so so busy again she's probably on this one as well i don't want to who knows where she's at with all this brood i'm going to go see how far over that goes but we need to go get a box just pushing these over looking down inside okay i see brood on that one i see brood on that one Let's go all the way out here to the edge. And do I see brood on this one? I see, okay, almost all of these frames have brood on it. I mean, she is filling this up. We have got to get that second box. Before we take care of our swarm over there, let's see how our honey supers are doing. That way I only got to make one trip into the woods. All right, I see nice and, I see lots of bees. I want to see lots of honey up here. Okay, I want to see lots and lots of honey. I see lots and lots of bees, which is a good thing. Not going to spend much time, not going to check down below for a queen or anything. Just want to see if we've got frames full of honey. Whoo! Guys, I see lots and lots of activity. I'm going to pull this center one out right here and see how it's going, how it's doing on honey. And that'll tell me where I need to go as far as putting on another box. Oh my, go oh my goodness, guys. Take a look at this. Ugh. Oh, here we go that oh this thing this thing is ready look at all of this look at all this guys i'm gonna come over here for that this this right here <laughs> is over 80 percent capped honey let that look just just oh the smell is amazing okay we're about 60 percent on this one and i see more in there we need another box because they run out of room, they may leave. Don't want that to happen. This is 41.36, again, doing amazing. And I see the same thing down inside here. Lots of, oh yeah, oh yeah, let's look here. Y'all see that frame right there? Covered up in 
wax. Y'all see that frame right there? Look at that, covered up. That's just honey, 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 honey for my tummy. And I see lots of that all the way through here. So definitely a second box is warranted. Let's close this one up. Get my tool out of there. Don't want to leave that in there, do I? Close this one up. And uh, let's check on Gunslinger, make sure Gunslinger is uh, doing well also. Then we'll get out in the woods and uh, get all the boxes we need and come back and get them set up. So let's move down there. Ooh, I hear lots of bees. As soon as I did that, I heard them, heard them go crazy. And I see lots of bees up top here. And uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. Hear all that sticky, ooey, goo gooey-ness popping. Oh, this honey super is full as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna do the same one. I'm gonna do this, this frame right here towards the center. I usually don't do the exact center one because sometimes the queen will come up here if she's running out of room down below. So, uh, but I get this one pulled out. Again, I'm not smoking them guys. I'm just moving slowly. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Oh, looky there, guys. <laughs> this one is perfect. I, ah, just got stung. Just got stung right through the glove. Ah, that bee right there stung me. You see it? She stung me. Let's see if I can get her off. She's stuck right in my finger. Ah, there we go. She's gone. Okay. Look at this, guys. This is 100% capped honey. Gorgeous spring honey. This size 100% capped as well. Oh, we are going to be eating like kings this year, okay? I'm not even going to look at this thing no more. Let's go ahead and get uh, two honey super boxes and a brood box for our swamp. You can see I got stung right here on the finger, right there on the top of that finger right there, and uh, has not swollen up too bad yet. But uh, I took another one, I took another one to the knee. Uh, when I got sat down in the Kubota, I had one on my knee and my jeans got tight and it is on my surgery knee. So we'll see how the, the swelling of a bee sting plus the, the surgery effects. Hey, maybe it'll help. I, I hear that's kind of a bee sting therapy. Maybe it will work. Whew, I got two eight frame honey supers and check out this comb guys. This is brand new comb. Only got honey out of it one year. This saves the bees so much time having to make new wax comb. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh, the honey's gonna be so sweet out of this. Okay, for the, uh, for the brood, for the swarm, I've got some old comb here. You can see it had wax moth damage and stuff. The bees will just clean this right out. But again, it already has wax one step ahead. If I didn't already have these boxes of comb, it would take the bees so much longer to build out all that wax and then make honey or make baby bees in the case of the swarm catch in the, uh, the brood chamber. So we are setting them up for success and lots of honey this year on the ridge. Woo, gonna be some giveaways. You may get some for yourself. Timifer honey coming to you, very possible. Back at the apiary for the honey supers there's really nothing special i got to do just uh gently take the cover off here and look at all the crazy bazillion bees on top oh my goodness they're already starting to attack me guys already starting to attack me again <laughs> i did not use smoke um, i'm not going to be in there very long just going to put this bad boy right on top of here do a little shimmy 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 so the bees get out of the way now they'll be able to move up to the top here. Put the top cover back on. Lots and lots of bees up here. Get this on. 
All right, move on down here quickly. <laughs> I got bees all over me. I don't know if you can hear them. I've already been stung twice, once in the knee, and once through the bright yellow part of my glove here. When you tighten it up, it allows them to get their stinger down in there. And that's not good. So I'm just gonna get these two on. Get them on so they can start making some honey. And then we'll see how we're gonna do the brood box. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. All right. Make sure the covers are on properly. They are. Now let's check out the brood chamber. We are lucky we got to this swarm box when we did because again, that queen was running out of room to put baby bees. So I'm gonna take out the center two frames here and move up frames from this box. I'm probably gonna move, uh, I'll move this one, which I know has got some eggs on it. Move it up slowly. Again, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of eggs. And slowly put this in this box. These are already going kind of crazy on me. Make sure I don't kill a queen. Okay. And let's move, let's do this one right here. Okay. Probably has eggs on it, it does. Move it out slowly. Never did see if we saw the queen. See all those eggs on there? Eggs on there. Definitely don't want to kill any queen. Slowly insert this down in there. Okay, now I'm just gonna push this one slowly over. This one slowly over. Man, she has babies everywhere, okay? I'm gonna slide this one, empty one down in there. They'll fill that out. And this empty one down in there. Again, they'll fill that out. They'll like having that extra space, I know that. And then move this one oh, right on top. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Don't kill any bees or kill as few as I can. <sighs> Lots of bees up here. Lots of eggs, they'll start filling this up with honey on the outside edges. This is the way I do it. And uh, I call myself a semi-professional. I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express, so that does qualify me as a professional beekeeper because that's all it takes. Look at all this beautiful clover right here, guys. This clover is all covered up in honeybees. And I'm, I'm about 200 yards away from our apiary, and this white clover is what makes our spring honey so, so clear and delicate and beautiful. Love fresh clover honey, especially here from West Tennessee. Um, I hope you guys can win some. Uh, make sure if you're a member of Ridge Life, you know, you got the little emojis and the icons and all that stuff. Make sure you look out for that poll. I'm going to let you pick from the ones we, the, the, the viewers have selected, I'm going to let you pick the name of our swarm catch when we got at the fire station, okay? So members, be on the lookout for that poll. And then on one of the upcoming live streams, yes, that's right, guys, we're gonna show you what the name of that colony is, and then we're gonna do some honey giveaways because I've got at least 16 frames of capped honey ready for uh, Jennifer, Jin Jin and I to extract it all out and uh, get it bottled up and uh, give away some to you. And if that's something you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed to Ridge Life. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. Guys, it's 100% free. I don't know what you're waiting for. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.